The idea in my mind is uh, to be able to argue, to be able to debate without showing disrespect. It makes absolutely no difference if all of us have great ideas, if we're not willing to stand up to represent those ideas to others, then we're not leaders. And then the, the next question is, well, how do we represent those ideas to others? And, and the answer to that is by way of communicating. If someone can't understand what you're talking about, then you really can't communicate very well to them at all. You have to be able to speak in a way that they can understand you so that you can communicate your ideas to them and be persuasive. That's what Four Star Debate was all about. Our purpose in being here is really to connect with students, to give them information they otherwise wouldn't have, uh, to help them learn how to express themselves, to disagree with each other without being disagreeable. If the adults haven't gotten it right, maybe the kids will. The Four Star Debate experience has by far been the most enriching debate camp I've ever attended, and I've attended five debate camps. Our argument was talking about a solution in general, any solution. But the problems they tried to pin on the affirmative plan actually work exactly opposite. We provide this economic liberalization and we actually decrease the conflict. They brought the personal aspect. They decrease the focus on competition, which is something very unique. Usually it can be very cutthroat at debate camps. The debate itself is wonderful, but the debate is a tool, as I see it, to bring the kids together and to get them to think and to work with each other. The Four Star Debate is really a unique opportunity for students to interact in a multicultural environment. For the students to come to the Four Star Debates and talk about the challenges and then how they as future leaders would address them, uh, I think is extremely important and it's something that uh, uh, is going to really, I think, contribute uh, to our society in general. Well, I think the program is really a nice combination um, of a debate experience where we're motivated by competition, but also by a refreshing sense of communication and leadership. And also, I think, giving us a real taste of the world and what our generation will be faced with. I think every one of them are very cognizant of the fact that this is a huge, unique opportunity for them that is going to help set the tone for things that they do later on in life. And when you can realize that at an early age, that's pretty special. I am very concerned about the future of the world and I know that uh, every day that uh, my generation has less and less impact on it and their generation is going to have more and more impact on it. So the opportunity to come and talk to them and listen to them in the context of this event is really quite special. One of the values of King's Academy I think ties in perfectly to this program. It's globalism, which is connecting people from around the world and bringing them together in a peaceful place where we can just coexist and speak our own opinions and not be put down for them. You're not being told by one group, for example, that, oh, this is what, we're, what we think and this is what you guys should think. The people have spoke to us that just having them believe in you is, is just inspiring. It makes you want, you want that change personally and you want, to, you want to go out into the world and see and do that change yourself. Well, the reason that we feel character is so important to teach in this four-star debate program is because it does impact all the other lessons that we are teaching them about teamwork and about leadership. I got a really different viewpoint from um, my Jordanian partner counterparts and um, it was a really great tournament overall. I learned a lot. Lab leaders were really amazing in getting us to know the affirmative and negative strategies. Those three days were stressful. We were writing cases, but it was a really great learning experience. And then the days we went sightseeing, it was a really eye-opening experience to go to Petra and Wadi Rum, the huge vast desert and all the sand and watching the sunrise. It was just really relaxing and stress-free.
think the value is twofold. One would be for the leaders that we're developing right now, these students, these 48 special young people. But there's another value, and that is the large number of people watching what's happening. People are wanting leaders who have an answer to the complexity of our time, and they feel like these are the types of events that create the climate of change that is substantive and really lasting. It's a special opportunity to be reminded that we need to keep working and providing opportunities because there's a generation coming along that's going to do a lot. And so our team supports this program financially because we think it's so important and does so much to build the future for our world, not just our nation, but the whole world. We're really pleased to be involved in supporting it, and I hope others will step up and provide the funds to allow this thing to grow to its potential. Well, I think what we're doing here is remarkable. To really liberate the kids uh, to solve problems. Uh, again, the adults haven't done such a good job. Maybe the kids will. One of the characteristics of young people is intellectual malleability. The idea is to expose them to a great deal of information and let them form their own opinions. 